Hi, and welcome to my presentation on cameras, how they work, and their effect on society, and some jobs you might have with a camera. So here's a simple diagram of a camera. This diagram is pulled off of the first link on, on my sources tab. So here we have the object that's being photographed, we have the biconvex lens, and we have a film, and then of course we have the rest of the camera. So, there would be some light source somewhere, but let's say for now that there's a flash on this camera. So the flash would go off, and it would shoot its light rays at all in every direction, but specifically there would be at least, there would be some that would hit this point on the object. And then let's say it reflects down through here on the conv biconvex lens. It'll meet up at the same point. No matter what angle you hit this object with light, it will all focus onto the same point on the, the biconvex lens and it will be on the same point of the film. And no matter, And that works for every single point you could have on this object. So if we have a point like here, and the light ray comes in from here, it hits off this, then hits there, and then it focuses onto here, or not there, like here, and all other point, all other light rays will focus onto the same point as long as it passes through the biconvex lens, and of course there's no damage to it. So what this is, the film is a uh, light sensitive um, array of sensors. And when light hits it, it senses that and then reacts to that by giving you the image that was made. So next, their effect on society and some jobs you might have uh, with cameras. So firstly, we got 2.1 million TV and film jobs in the US. The TV and film industry probably w wouldn't even exist at this point without having cameras, because no one would have ever thought of the idea of like making moving pictures um, on a TV screen and broadcasting that uh, over the planet without there being like a f like a camera or something to record like actual people doing it. Um, because otherwise you would just, you would only have, like, animation to go off of for, um, for TV and film. So we got four point four billion dollars in wages yearly, uh, totaling, uh, a total of one point, of, sorry, 139 billion in the U.S. alone, um, all these people who have these jobs that like make this much money should be living completely different lives if it weren't for TV and film. Uh, they would be completely different and yeah, uh, we wouldn't, the US wouldn't be making all of this money of course too because some of this is like money from uh, other countries that they would be making from uh, TV and film. And of course other countries wouldn't have international viewership uh, to get money from. So 4.62 billion people use social media worldwide, which is more than half of the people that live on the planet. That's like if this were half the people that were living on the planet, there would be like 9.2 billion people that live on the planet. Um, yeah, that's like that. All, the, all of us would be living completely different lives if it weren't for social media, and social media would like wouldn't exist pretty much um, without TV and film. All you would have, or without uh, cameras. All you would have is like message boards, and it's pretty much it. And not many people ju use message boards uh, in the first place, and then the people who do, uh, 
like some of them are only gonna really use it for the photo aspect, which wouldn't really exist, of course, without a camera. So culture, our lives would be completely different without cameras. Uh, our culture would be just completely different. We wouldn't have TV for like people to obsess over or just um get be influenced by we wouldn't really have social media to be influenced by like we would be completely different people um so the scientific mark uh is for two things one there's a job uh called scientific photography or you can be a scientific photographer which is a person that documents and records uh like science discoveries and stuff with uh, photographs, which of course you can't do without a camera. Um, just uh, the scientific field itself would be completely different without visual recordings of things. It would be a lot harder to share with people how a thing works because you wouldn't be able to see it, of course, because like it, you wouldn't have a camera to take a picture. <laughs> And send it to somebody or anything. And another thing, we might not even have the internet. Like, or we probably would have the internet, but like, it wouldn't be as big um, if we didn't have cameras because then we couldn't take a picture of something and send it to somebody. So the internet would have less of a use. Still be really useful, but less of a use for information if it weren't for that. And then that was my presentation on uh, cameras, how they work, and their effect on society and jobs. Um, here are my sources. I'm going to be sending you this uh, presentation, so it's not like you have to look at these now or anything.